What's your name? Officer Bodine, person please. What's your number? 1047. What? Why are you asking me for my I'm ID? I'm doing an investigation. Investigate first. Okay. Okay, there's no crime here. Where's your ID? I don't need to give you the ID. It back off a little bit because I'm not arrested or detained. Right now, I'm trying to. I don't right care. Here. You you talk to me with respect. We got, and it, it's it's not you. We know that now. So you're so, still taking me to jail. While seeking assistance at a federally owned facility in Bridgeton, New Jersey, a 63-year-old legally blind individual encountered the Bridgeton Police Department. Upon their approach, the police immediately requested identification. The legally blind man reported that one of the officers even engaged physically, prompting him to retrieve his camera and begin recording. Subsequently, the sequence of events evolved from an initial accusation of criminal trespass from the public building to an assertion of attempting to identify the individual on suspicion of criminal trespass. Eventually, the narrative shifted to a claim that the man had obstructed the police investigation, despite later confirming that he was not involved in the alleged trespassing. I am going to talk to you. No, you're not. You laid hands on me. I'm making sure you don't have any weapons. You don't need to do that. I'm not a crime. I'm, there's no crime here. Why would you assume that I have a weapon? Listen. Back I'm off. I'm Back off, sir. Please. Back off, sir. You can't handle me like I'm your property. Do me a favor and back off okay. and talk to me with respect. There's no crime here. Why are you going to come up to me and talk to me like I'm, I'm a criminal? You, Excuse me? I'm trying to ID you. You don't get to ID me without a crime. There is a crime. Ma Which one? What's the crime, ma'am? Did you call the cops? No, I did not call okay, the cops. Okay, so where's the crime? Can you hear me out? I just need to find out who you are. You mean. don't need to know me nothing. Yes, I do. No, why? What's the crime? What's Say that. Mean? State that for the, for the record. I need to ID you, sir. For what? What's the crime? Because there was threats made here. There was need, no, maybe, maybe. I need your No, ID. maybe. Confirm that. Investigate first. Whoever called, talk to them okay, and tell them what I did. What did I do? What's the crime? Did you see a crime when you walked in here? No, go ahead. Who's asking? Were well, you asking for your Sir, you don't get to ask me for ID absent of a crime. Period. I have I have the right to remain silent and I don't need to give you an ID unless you have a crime. What's the co what's the code violation? You're not explaining to me. You're asking and demanding an ID from a person that has committed no crime. Who are you anyway? And what's your ID? What's your ID? For what? You can't ID somebody in the street just because you want to. Listen, man, we're looking for someone. We're just uh, it, ain't it ain't me. It ain't me. It ain't me. What's your name, sir? They don't need to know my name. There is no crime. Who, who are you looking for? Please confirm that. I'm... You're looking for a person, and you obviously you know who that is. Exactly. And who? It ain't me. Well, I just want to get your name. To make you, sure don't get to you don't get to my name. You don't get my name. You don't get my name absent of a crime, period. You can't come here. I don't know how many officers are here. I'm almost blind. So you, right. you, you, you're actually... Can I just speak with you just for a second? Listen, we're not trying to... You're, you're not speaking thing. to me. He laid hands on me. Well, listen, you're... you're I don't need to listen. I can remain quiet, period. That's fine. I'm I can plead the fifth right now. You I'm, have no right to me. I'm trying to explain this to you. You are banned from here. Why? I haven't done anything. Who you banned me? Who banned me? This is a city. This is management a... banned you from here. They sir, have that right to ban sir, anyone from this business. Or why? From this property. Why? They have that right. I don't I know why understand, they you. sir. Please. I'm explaining. Who's the authority here? That's Who's the me. highest? Me. And your name is Sergeant. Overstreet. Sergeant. So here's what's going what to happen. What is your name, sir? Please. Sergeant Overstreet. And what's your ID? 1079. Okay. You are Pl trespassing. No, why? You are going to be placed under arrest, and we're going to bring you to the police station, and we can figure out all the details there. There's You're, no I, reason to argue here. There's nothing No, 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 no. Trespassing means you get to tell me to leave. You've been banned here for, for years. No, I, I've never been here. Sir, you are... Listen, I... I've never been here. What is your name? I don't need to give you my name. You, do. you, uh, you tell me we the are person. We're investigating a trespassing. You have to provide your info. Listen, I have never been in this building. 
Right, Never, so ever, ever. I don't need to give you that name. You do. No, you don't. Okay, so no, what you I'm going to need you to do is put your phone away because you're going to be placed under arrest. And the reason is? For not IDing yourself because we're investigating a trespassing and for trespassing because we know who you and are. And what's the investigation that you did? I just told you that, sir. No, you just tell him. You put your phone down. No, no. You, you know what? You're going to for, you're going to rice me. Go ahead. We are going. To I'm not. Yes. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give myself up for something you just made Listen, up. Listen, you're making this way hard. No, I'm not. I'm are. not. I'm you not. Are. You absolutely are. No, I'm not. I'm explaining it to you the nicest way I can. No, you t who, is who is you, being trespassed? Who is being trespassed? Sir. Why? How? How? I've never been into this Management building ever. And you from here, ma'am. Have you? Do you have me in record here? So why are they why are they saying I'm banned from here? Who's banning They're me? There was an incident here, so they, I would listen to them. No, I don't want to. I don't want to listen. You said there's an investigation. This underscores a common issue among citizens. A significant portion of the population continues to hold the belief that if police instruct us to cooperate, we are obligated to comply. Despite the staff member emphatically stating earlier in the video that she did not contact the police regarding this individual, and now reiterating that she has no record or reason to suspect that this man is trespassed from this facility, she goes on to advise him to cooperate, relinquish his Fourth Amendment rights, and comply with officers on lawful orders. There is. And where it would, where is it? It would be so much easier if you could just give us your ID. No, so we can no. Whether you're banned from here or not. N no. Okay. If I don't give you my ID, what happens? You're going to be placed under arrest. Okay. Under the threat of arrest, I will give you my ID. Okay. Okay. Now you you lose your qualified immunity. Okay. You know that, right? Yes. I understand. Okay. One time, aquí, mamita. Where's she at? St keep recording. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't know who you who you um um uh who, who, you don't know who is the person that you're supposedly kicking out of here. No, we do. But but, but I just want to verify that it's you before we even you know make your day harder than it has to be. Hey, how do you know who the person is? What's that? Because how? there's a there was an incident here where someone called, left some concerning messages. When we believe that person is you, that person no, no, is banned no, from this property. You, you, you saying hearsay? No, there's a voicemail of this person threatening this this property. When today? I don't know when they called. Well, no, but uh, did you, did I you just heard specify? the voicemail. Yes, today. Today, so it wasn't yes. me. Huh? I never threatened anybody. Do you have your ID on you? No. I, do, I, did you I threaten your somebody? Name? Did you, you see me? Your name? Did you see me threaten anybody when I came in here? All right, just look them. Huh? You're under arrest, sir. Okay. I'll grab your Okay. 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 Did you give me the card? Huh? Uh, so what what is your business here? My my business is not your business. Okay. I don't need to explain that to you. Okay. And there is no crime here. You just arrested me to get my ID. Because we're investigating. Yeah, I don't care about the investigation. You arrested an innocent man for nothing, for no reason. Obstruction of what? Of what? Listen, you can't obstruct an investigation that's illegal. You put me in cuffs. You asked me for an ID absent of a crime. The judge will laugh at you in the face. You can't obstruct something that doesn't exist. Yeah. We got, and it, it's it's not you. We know that now. So you're so, still taking me to jail. Look, you're not going to jail, no. So you why just got to do paperwork. I don't need to do paperwork. We have I'm to. I'm not going into we contract. We have to do paperwork. I'm not There's doing nothing contract. We've got the contract. I don't it's need to. It's a summons that you're going to get on a piece of paper For giving what? you a court date. For what? For obstruction. I never did a obstruction. There you is did. no obstruction. You did. We got, let me explain it to you. If you. Just let me talk for a minute, please. We got a voicemail. Someone left a voicemail here threatening to shoot the place and kill everyone inside. What does it mean? That person is legally blind. 
All right, and resembles you a little bit. Yes. So the all. So it's me. It's me. It is not you. It is not you. Okay, so we determined that here. It's not you. Yes. So why we could have before this happened. If you would have just provided information, no, so you're saying like you're required to do during an investigative detention when we are investigating a potential offense. You're used to that. No, 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 no. You're used to 99 percent of the people. I'm not going to argue. So, this, this well, hold on a minute. Hey, I'm not a fucking dog, alright? All right, what, what? What are you going to ask? What, what, okay, you, what is the charge? Obstruction. Obstruction of what? Obst what do you mean? Okay, please Obstruction explain. is the charge. Of what? So, we of are investigating a trespassing, which means you are required to identify yourself so we can confirm whether you are the now person trespassing. Now you need to know who the person is. We know who's trespassed. And we it didn't ain't know me. Whether and it's it was, not me. But we didn't know that without IDing But you know it now. Okay. But why am I still in cuffs? Because you failed to identify I yourself. I know this and that. So that now you're before. not being charged with trespassing. It's the obstruction for not identifying yourself. You can't do that. We were It'll, it, the they're going to throw it in court. Oh, wait. Listen, what they're going to throw it in your waste. We we're are wasting resources. Point. We're past we're that point. We're, 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 we're wasting time. Point. So we're we to go to the police resources. station. No. no. There's no other option we have. We're past that no. point. All you have to do is show us I don't have to do anything. You told me. I don't have to. That's why you're under arrest, because you were required to. Yes, you were. By what law? I already explained it to you. We are investigating you're not gonna, you're whether gonna or be, not you're, you're trespassing. Gonna re, you, you know, your decision is that re, you're going to be responsible for your decision, right? I, I'm full aware of that. Full okay. aware. Okay. So I'll start off with saying this, that the internal investigation has already taken place and they have already found themselves not guilty. So with that being said, let me add this, because if the police are called and you match the description. For example, let's say there was a bank robber who was six foot tall, um, wearing a black shirt, blue pants, white shoes, um, light skinned male. And you walk down the street and you see someone in the area that matches the exact description that you description that you have. Well, it is reasonable for the police to stop and try to identify that person. Here's the problem with this situation. The staff understood who the person the police were looking for. They knew who he was. It was a former resident that had been evicted eight years ago. And when he made the phone call, they recognized his voice. In order to recognize his voice, you must know who he is and you know how he looks. The man in this video did not match any description. That's why emphatically the staff member stated that they did not suspect the individual in this video of being the man that they were looking for. But yet the police were overly focused on obtaining his identification. And when they found out and had time to confirm, which they should have already known that this was not the guy, they still arrested him and they found themselves not guilty. This is the type of policing that we deal with in America today. Next steps have to be taken, not only filing complaints with local police departments, because we see how they're gonna handle things, but with the ACLUs, the Department of Justice, we have to go over the heads of the police departments because they're gonna always find themselves not guilty. Make sure you always record the police. With that being said, we the People University, signing off.